Before we get into today's video, I want to give a big shout out to Noah from the History of Vikings podcast, who was awesome enough to give my upcoming book a shout out on the podcast. Don't forget to not only check out the awesome History of Vikings podcast, but the History of Vikings YouTube channel too. Links to the podcast and the YouTube channel will all be down below. If you are an eager Name Explained fan, then you are most likely watching this video on a Friday, as that's the day I released this video, and you are subbed, and you have hit the bell button and left a comment saying first or something, and all that other stuff YouTube wants me to tell you to do. But maybe you are also seeing this video the next day, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then by Tuesday there's a fresh video out for you all to watch. Days consist of the time it takes planet Earth to rotate on its axis. This is a logical way to track time, so are months and years, being the time it takes for the moon to revolve around the Earth and the time it takes for Earth to orbit the Sun, respectively. Weeks, however, are more of a man-made construct, a way to break up time, make things seem a bit more manageable. These seven days that make up the week seem to have so much control over our lives. Society has dictated that we work Monday to Friday and then relax on Saturday and Sunday. It's so ingrained into our heads that it's easy to forget that this really is just a human-made concept. Anyway, I'm rambling. Today, let's look at where the names for the days of the week came from. Let's start logically at the start of the week, Monday. Or does the week start on Sunday? Different cultures say that Sunday is the first of the week, while others see Monday as the first day of the week. Personally, I've always seen Monday as the start of the week, but from a name perspective, Sunday makes a lot more sense to be the start of the week. The day starts with the sun rising, and if your week starts with Sunday, then the week starts with a sunrise too. As if you couldn't guess, the name Sunday means the day of the sun, believed to have come from the old English sunodag. So, if Sunday is the day of the sun, then I'm sure it's easy to see where Monday comes from. Monday of course being named in reference to the moon, with Monday meaning the day of the moon, coming of course from the old English Mundarg. So if Sunday and Monday are named after the sun and the moon, then what are the rest of the days named after? Well they are named after planets and gods. While it's easy to see godly and planetary links to certain days of the week, some aren't as clear. Like the next day of the week, Tuesday. Tuesday has always belonged to a god of war, and when we think of gods of war, names like Ares or Mars probably come to mind, and they sound nothing like Tuesday. This is because the name Tuesday comes from the Germanic god of war, Twi, with Tuesday being named after the god of war, this has led to the planet Mars, also named after a god of war, to be the planet associated with Tuesdays. Wednesday seems to be a bit more problematic. Wednesday comes from the Old English Wodensdag, which means Woden's Day. So who exactly is Woden? Well, like I said, things get a little complicated. There's this thing in mythology where gods across different mythologies are considered to be one and the same, just with different names and differing stories. This is most well known with the transition between Greek and Roman mythology, where Zeus became Jupiter, Ares became Mars, and so on. However, it wasn't just Greek to Roman where this happened. Gods were adapted between between Roman and Norse mythology too. Wodenesdag comes from the Latin Dies Mercury, which means Day of Mercury, with Mercury being a Roman god. But Woden sounds nothing like Mercury, I hear you saying. And while yes, this is true, Woden does sound like the Norse god's name Odin, and Odin and Mercury are considered to be one and the same. Of course, this means that Mercury is the planet associated with Wednesdays. A day of the week's named as much easier to interpret, however, is of course Thursdays. Thursday is of course Thor's Day. Norse God of Thunder, great movies, and dressing up as a woman. The planet associated with Thursday, however, is Jupiter. Thor was God of Thunder and Lightning, and Jupiter created Thunder and Lightning. In Latin, Thursday was Dies Jovis day of Jupiter. Friday and Venus are linked together as they are the only day and planet that are named after female gods. Friday comes from the Old English Frigdag, which means Frigga's day, Frigga being the wife of Odin. And finally we have Saturday, which along with Thursday is pretty easy to see where this name comes from. That of course being the planet and the god Saturn, coming from the Old English Saturdag, which of course means day of Saturn. What's odd about Saturday I guess is that it uses the name of a Roman god, as opposed to a Norse or Germanic god. Anyway, regardless of what day of the week you're watching this video on, whether you're trying to get over the hump on Wednesday, partying hard on Saturday, or nursing a hangover on Sunday, now you have a better understanding of the history and mythology that went into the names of our days of the week.
Thank you to everyone who supports the Name Explain on Patreon. Don't forget to donate on Patreon if you can. A small amount helps the channel in a huge way. $2 a month gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you.